So, Jay, how are you feeling fitness-wise after your injury layoff? Good, mate. Getting there. Um, feeling better week by week. It was uh, obviously the, being in a brace for four weeks was a difficult part. Uh, being unable to get on the bike and do any fitness at all. So, the first like two or three weeks was just about trying to like get back going, get on the walk bike, get some, get the lungs working, and trying to get thinking. But then it was a lot of pitch-based stuff, and yeah, bit by bit, feeling better and better. And the same now, pushing the gaffer to try and get back on the team. I know you've you've got a lot of experience in your career, but is a layoff like that still tough mentally for you? I think I've probably learned over the years of how, how long I've been in the game. I've had a, a touch wood. I've been very fortunate enough where the injuries I have had, I have had haven't been too long. Um, so yeah, I've been been able to keep my head ready to to be back in as soon as possible. So um, I just had to keep stay positive, stay around the lads, and get myself ready for when I was due back. And what are you like as watching football on the sidelines? Is it hard not being able to influence things on the pitch as you want to be out there? You can probably ask the lads who are sat on the side in the ground watching with me that I'm probably the worst one for it. Um, don't really like being on the sidelines just yet watching the lads when I know that I should be out there helping them. So, yeah, uh, probably not the best one to watch a game of football. And that probably takes out like the, the experience and wanting to help people and wanting to help the boys. But being captain, you're still being around the camp and stuff like that, still talking to players, you know, getting them going, that kind of thing as well, helping Yeah, them. of course, mate. Yeah, I mean, I went to, I think I went to Barrow away. Now, obviously, the London trips were a bit further afield for me to go to, but I went to the closest ones of the games to support the lads in around the changing room, every home game to back the lads in the week, being around them, seeing if they're all right, speaking to them in the gym, away from the gym, one-on-ones, you know, like group chat as well, making sure everyone's all right, and just keeping them, keeping the momentum going and keeping the... The spirits, because that's something that's always been crucial this season. The spirit's been outstanding. The lads are a great group. Um, there's no cliques, as people would say. There's no certain groups that are always together. Everybody mixing really well, and that's what this group is all about. And how is the spirit at the moment? Because you know, you know, you've just dropped out of the playoffs as well. Yeah, listen, football's football, and we know that we're, we're not well. We're disappointed with where we are at the minute. Um, we're still striving to do well. We're still in the position that we can. I think you've seen over the last couple of weeks that a win can bump you up maybe five or six places, a draw can can drop you two or three. So we're still in the mix. We've got five games to go and we're going to give it everything to try and come out with the positive results starting tomorrow. And I know you're a positive person anyway, so how confident are you that you can at least finish in the playoffs this season? I'm very confident. Um, I'm, I believe in this group. I believe in what we are. I believe in the staff, the club, everything that we've done all year we deserve to be. Um, we had a little bit of a sticky patch, but every team does. Our sticky patch probably came in a moment that we probably didn't want it to. Um, but it is what it is. It's gone. We've got five games now to go out and prove ourselves and why we should be in the playoffs. And I think if we can do that, then we should be in them. Have you ever seen a league division like that? how tight this is? No. Mate, it's mental. I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. Um, to be able to drop so quickly and drop so many points. Well, sorry, drop maybe two points in drawing a game and you're dropping four or five places a week. It, it's just mental. Um, I don't know how how it can be done, but it just shows what this league's like. It's competitive. There are a lot of very good teams who are, who are in and around it. All deserve to be there on merit and so do we. Um, we've now, like I've mentioned already, we've got a tough game away at Bradford or away for me. Now it should be better. And we're going to go there tomorrow in front of a big crowd and we're going to be excited and we're looking forward to it. And what would you put that down to, that you haven't been as good away from home? Because your home form's been brilliant, hasn't it? Um, why do you think you haven't played as well away from home? Is it just the opposition, you know, on the day? I don't know, mate. I, I literally couldn't put a pin on it because we don't change a lot. Um, we're still the same players. We're still the same team. Maybe things just, I don't know. If you look at them games away from home, have you really lost them by a big margin? I wouldn't say so. They've always been tight games at a, a nick of a goal. As I've lost as a game, you know, the 1-0 games. Um, so we were in all of them. It was just a matter of finding the back of the net. And I uh, say we can spoke, speak about the, the past of the league and decisions and games and whatever, but it's about what's here, what's now. And we've got five big opportunities to stake our claim for playoffs. And we're going to throw everything at it we can. We've got absolutely nothing to lose. We've got to go for it and give everything we've got. And do you think maybe a couple of away wins before the end of the season, will you need those to get into the playoffs? Do you think you need to start getting wins away from home? Yeah, listen, it will... Let's be honest, I'd love to go and win the next five. Um, but like you said, the away games are going to be vital. We've got a decent little record at home. Again, looking back at it over the last three home games, we've, we've gone ahead and we've ended up drawing the game. So, yeah, that is something that we have been disappointed about. But away from home, yeah, we do need to pick up our form. 
we need to if you want to be fighting for these playoff space uh, playoff spaces then we need to we need to go away and be what we are and show our home form away and that's something that we want to go and do tomorrow in front of a big crowd and people if you're a footballer you want to be playing in front of big crowds and there's an opportunity for everyone whoever the gaffer picks to go and represent this club and represent represent themselves and show, showcase what they're all about and with the Easter period these Easter games you've got two games in quick succession to maybe get six points as well it's nice to get some quick points on the board isn't it yeah of course it is yeah it's a big period of the season because they come thick, uh, thick and fast um, let's be honest it's probably no different to a Saturday Tuesday but just because the days have changed everybody thinks it's a different thing but we're going to prepare ourselves correctly which we have done all week good spirit around the lads good laughter good boat but then obviously when the work comes the gaffer it's serious we're looking for, we're doing things leading into Friday um, and that's all we're concentrating on. We'll be in the weekend ready for a tough game at home against Exeter on Monday, who are also flying. So, listen, these two games are going to be difficult. Um, Bradford have obviously got a new manager that we all know very well. Um, and they'll want to, they'll be wanting to put on a show and going to put on a performance too. So, everything to play for. Just the fixtures around us as well. There's going to be some big fixtures around us. So, it's all in our own hands and we have to concentrate on just on ourselves. And in your absence... Lewis Warrington and um, Leo Connor have been playing really well in midfield, haven't they? Yes, they have, and they deserve it too. Uh, Lee's been, we obviously know Lee for a long time now. Lee is Lee. He's a brilliant player. The club have done wonderfully well to sign him on a permanent deal. It's great for the club and it, looking for the future as well. Lewis has a, been a, a breath of fresh air. He's been brilliant. Love how he plays. Takes a lot of, takes a lot of, what it's what the word I'm looking for, um, braveness to come out at 19 and to go want the man to go out and play and he's relished in it he's got better and better um i think he's improved why he is regarded at everton as highly as he is um and he's done really well for us and he's, he's a great lad off the field as well he, he wants to learn he wants to do well and he tries his hardest and uh, the lads have all took it to him really well and he's there to be playing he seems to have like a quick brain as well. He's got a good passing ability, but he's also, you know, he's really good at winning possession back as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's got everything. And as I say, it takes a, it takes a brave young lad to come out and play to, to get games and see what the real world is like. And this, this experience for him will do wonders leading into his future game, whatever he may be, um, whatever his, his career may take him. But to go out and play at 19 is a big thing. And I, I believe that a lot of other 19-year-olds should be out there in the league trying to, to, to do their trade and show what they're all about. And, It'll do them good stead and fingers crossed they can end on a high for them with the next five games.